You want me to see if I can pick the sled up? Put it in the track? My overall level is good, I just need to take breaks because okay. the altitude catches up to me. Well, let's definitely at least take a break up here. Okay. We can camp up here if we want to. Or we can try and get over that rise. I might be able to push through to go to the second lake. I think it'll be nicer up there. I, I think it'll be nicer up there too. Later. Oh, that's a good point too. That's a good point because here it's going to be shadow in an hour. bit down to the lake it's not too bad if you stay left it looks like pizza oh. holy crap that was pretty impressive and I'm on the road again With my fiddle huddled close beneath my arm I've a fine felt hat and a strong pair of brogues I've got rosin in my pocket for my bow And my fiddle strings are new And I've learned a tune or two So I'm well prepared to ramble and must go Alright That's close but... Out of the camp spot up some pasta. Snow's starting to come down. The but all the pretty good. The sandwich we constitute well. Nice. Yeah. What elevation do you think we're at here? Jeez, I'm looking right. It's probably over nine, right? Oh god, yeah. I'm thinking we're probably just gonna get some warm food in us and get in our sleeping bags. Got the tent all set up here. Both the sleeping bags puffing up. Got the sled we brought up here. Here's the skis and everything. Check out our sled here. Got our bags. We got the watertight, super durable dry bag there. It's actually warmer than it was earlier. Yeah. Okay, okay. It was, uh, let's see. Well, it's not colder. Okay. It's, uh, where, where are we sitting at, Ev? Yeah, it was got a 15 Perfect. degree bag and it's 17 Let's just call it Cancun. Mm -hmm. We're good to go. Yep. <laughs> now this is our, our idea of fun here. Coming up, I'm a little bit of pain. My feet hurt a little. The only reason I can tell my fingers are holding this camera is because it's hovering in the air and I can still see fingers touching it, but I can't feel it. But we're good. We're good. So we got dinner ready. First course is ready. Okay. So I say we uh to be there. Uh, let's let's just let it cool off a little bit on okay. the Okay, let it thicken. We won't we won't dirty any more dishes. Sounds good to me. Yeah, we can just eat out of it. I got a spoon. Yep. It's nice you don't need pot holders when you got gloves. Exactly. Ooh, I gotta say it looks pretty good. Consistently see look good. It's pretty good. A little hot, take small bites. Okay. So we survived the night, 
toasty warm in our sleeping bags. Tent worked good, but just got a ton of frost on the inside. So we got uh, biscuits and gravy is the plan for breakfast this morning. Oh yeah. And uh, we're gonna have to figure out how to balance cooking the biscuits with um, melting snow for water because both of those are things that definitely need to happen. So we'll see. Yeah. In the process. So we finished boiling up our water for breakfast or whatever. So I'm gonna pour that back into the thermos. And then uh, we're gonna use this as our oven. And we're gonna bake some biscuits. Here's our baked dish. parchment paper cupcake molds into there. Here's our, it should be biscuit dough, but because the lumps are kind of holding together, it's biscuit batter. But, back in here to wet bake it at first and then we've got our titanium trivet that goes in the bottom there. This guy goes in the plant. Just put that guy back on the stove. So did you need to put any oil in there or anything with the uh, the paper mold, or you just put it right in there? Put it right in there. That's okay. parchment paper, so it's okay. uh, it's uh, silicone impregnated. Okay. So it's very very non-stick. It's like a cupcake wrapper, except it's actually more non-stick than that. So that's our that's how we get away with not needing oil or flour or anything. It's just these little lightweight cupcake molds that I three D printed the press for. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So, what type of uh, bake time are we looking at for this? Um, we'll have to see, unfortunately. We'll see how long it takes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we will check back in about 10 minutes. Alright, so here's our big old cheesy biscuit, and we're going to crumble this up in the, uh, in the country gravy that we made. That's real good. Turned out? Oh yeah. <laughs> Alright. Yep. It'd be ideal if it was a little a little more a little less undercooked, but uh, I think we're fine. It'll just mix in. Try a little piece of that. The Parmesan cheese is <gasps> good. Oh yeah. Less clean up. Man. It's not baked super deep, but that's okay. We'll just drop her in. <laughs> Get eaten. Try it out, see how it goes. Right. See if we're on the right track. Give that a hearty yeah. <laughs> All right. You know what? <laughs> if we bring this back up to a boil, it'll firm up the last of the biscuit. Let's I'll do that. Ahead. Let's do that. Yeah, let's just bring it back up to a boil real quick. Okay. All right. So we're done cleaning up the camp and uh, getting ready to head out. Should be a lot easier today. It's mostly downhill, but uh, we're going to try real hard to avoid the steepest parts because I'm not that good at skiing and I got a really heavy sled behind me, so that's probably not ideal.
<laughs> nice. <laughs> 